This is um, Granny Goose here. <laughs> Yes, folks, this is the kitty hour. <laughs> all those fairy tales and all those little those little things that, that, that they that they that they told you when you were a kid, they're all false. They're all they're all lies, they're you all mean false. That guy doesn't really live under my bed. No. There's there's worse things living under your bed, not that guy. That guy's nothing compared the to the boogeyman. Which, the boogeyman. Forget the boogeyman. There's there's things that are going on that are way heavier than the boogeyman. Oh, I don't know, man. The boogeyman's scary. Pretty scary. the boogeyman is scary. I I gotta admit I'm not I'm Listen, I will never put the boogeyman down because next thing you know, I'm going to find that boogeyman that's like they're really scary to me, you know. So, um, but I'm telling you, there's things out there not to be scared of, but to be aware of, you know. S scared is different than aware. Now, I think that Whispering Electro would, would agree that, like, you know, if we're aware, then, you know, we can be scared, but be intelligently scared, you know, which would be aware, you know. Then we can deal with it, you know, in some sort of way. Maybe we can get past the boogeyman or whatever else is out there that might, you know, be scary. You know, lots to be scary. You know, best to be real aware, be real conscious. You know, don't don't pass out, don't don't black out. You know. Oh, so I'm from aware that the boogeyman is there. That won't be such a big scare. It might be. It might. It might be that big a scare, but it might be. Why well, could at least figure out a plan? A, at least a plan of action. Or at least know how scared you are. Well, I can run. Yes, that's 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 always that's I advocate that. So everybody should run, you know, and start starting now. Everybody should practice just in case. All right, get ready for the runaway Indeed. drill. Indeed, let's go. Run away! Run away! Once you step in dog poop, it takes a long time to get the smell. It takes a long time to get the dog poop off your shoe, and then it takes even much longer to get it off of your, you know. And who would want, you know? Supposing I stepped in dog poop and then came into somebody's house, it's really embarrassing, man, because like dog poop is like, you know. Not that I have, I don't have anything against dog poop. Everybody's got poop. It's almost like it's the same as eating. You know, when you eat, something comes out, man. You know, that's the way it is here. That's just the way it is here. You know, but but humans think that like one is embarrassing and one is cool. You know, but, I mean they're both necessary. You know, so like how can one be embarrassing and how can one be cooler than embarrassing? You know, so the main thing is like you know, like just to, you know, you know, I've heard that one of the things you can do is like is to see every sort of function that you that you do as a, as a, as a, as a, as a as a, a person. You know, to do see every single function you know as some sort of like like act of a god of a deity you know like to, to see like even each thing is like is, is the act of a deity and it's really important and, and 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 is that why they call it sitting on the throne you go in there if you mention my name they'll give you a good seat i just want to say one thing i you know i hope i'm not talking too much you know but i want to say it's like the way it works here, look, I'm not saying this is right. What's going on here, I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong, you know, because this is what is going on here. So, so, but, but like it goes on for a while and then it changes, you know, and then it goes on for a while and it changes. I mean, it's probably changing all the time, but it seems to be more subtle, but all of a sudden it changes. So, you know, one time you're, you're really, you know, not feeling okay, you know, and the next thing you know, you know, like it changes and you're feeling okay again. It's almost like, you know, you've got the flu and you're laid in bed for like, you know, three days, five days, oh, six, oh, your body, you know, and then all of a sudden, you know, it's like it breaks and it changes. The next thing you know, you're feeling you're better again. It's like, that's like a, like, like, that's like an example. That's like a parable. That's like a metaphor of like, a, like of what happens to us. You're not feeling okay. Next thing you know, you're feeling okay. The same thing when you're feeling okay. When you're feeling, when you're on top of the world, man, when you're really feeling okay on top of the world, you know, wow, you know, just, you know, it changes, you know, it's like, that's the way it is here. It's like, it's like, you know, like in science, they have these things called waves and they're up and down, up and down. It's like, and that's what goes on here. There's like, it's almost like living in a paradox, living in, in like, you know, a duality where there's a plus and a minus, where there's a heaven and a hell, where there's a good and a bad, where there's like, you know, it's like, you know, so, so then until so you think about all that, you think, you know, it's like, well, okay, if everything changes, you know, well, you know, what, if, you know, then what? Now what? Now what am I what's supposed to happen? What should we do in the meantime? In the meantime. What should we do in the meantime? It's not like we can't do nothing, you know. It's not like a, it's like we have to do. It's not like that won't do, you know. We have to, you know, stay engaged, so to speak. We have to, you know, keep keep um. Keep, here, here's how I see it. I see it. It's like helping helping as much as possible, you know, the people that that I that, that need my help, you know, and trying to learn as much from, you know, sources that I consider to be 
have more information than than I have, and so somewhere I'm in the in the in the middle, and I suppose somewhere everybody's in the middle because of the you know from what I you know understand from you know science and philosophy and religion that like you know like I mean, if you look back you know you can you can't ever stop looking back you know I mean they might say the Big Bang but then some other people said there were infinite Big Bangs that's what that guy the most brilliant mind Hawkins in the wheelchair you know you know that's what he said you know he's like he's supposed to be like a um, like a um, what's his name an Einstein this thing keeps clicking around. okay this thing must have a I've got a loose wire. This has got a loose wire. We've all got loose wires, but that doesn't make any difference, you know. He said that like if, you, if it was one bang bang, there could be infinite infinite big bangs, you know. And so th- then that puts the past like you know sh- okay. So and then if you start to think about like you know how good you can get, you know, well that must be the same thing. If you can look back forever, you must be able to look on forever, you know, in this particular you know phase of things. So that puts me somewhere in the, in, the, in the middle, you know. Now maybe the idea is to jump off the whole entire thing, which is my secret suspicion. But in the meantime, I am here. See, I am here with all that. You know, looking back and looking forward, and all the stuff that goes on in my mind, even knowing that I should jump, you know, jump off the 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 um the um the, the, this this particular uh, you know way of, of viewing things, you know. But in the meantime, I'm here, and 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 some, and you're here, and we all have to like you know help keep helping, you know, as long you know in every way possible, because if we don't help, then we're then we're making a big mistake, and, and that's not very cool. Oh, nothing like a clean start. But you know, the karma don't visit the wrong door. The karma don't visit the wrong door. No karma don't visit the wrong door. No, 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 oh, no, don't visit the wrong door. No, come and don't visit the wrong door. No, come and don't visit the, the wrong door. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the air that's in your nostrils. All the memories that are in your mind. Sitting in your car at the stop sign. All the stuff that's on TV. Everything you think and feel and read and see. Come don't visit the wrong door. Come don't visit the wrong door. Well, come and don't visit the wrong door. You know, because if it did, it wouldn't be calm anymore. Um, 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 dance. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll, that'll, you know, in a few more years, that'll get you, that'll get you far. <laughs> I don't know, man. What's all that booty shaking going on? I don't know, man. Most booty shaking gets, uh, you know, it's very ancient, and 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 the the reason for booty shaking anciently was the real thing. There was no other reason, man. It was done for real with music and, and, and reality, you know. You're looking for the word. <laughs> You're still here. I can't believe it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, look at that, man. I'll tell you, you're very, look, you know, I was gonna ask you if you could do yoga, but you can do yoga, you know. Do you hear that? Do you hear those drums? Well, I hear the drums. Makes me wanna, it makes me wanna bend my knees. Okay, this is some this is some really serious things, you know. It's like 
I, I really don't want to make it very, you know, topical so it can be locked into a, um, a certain time frame, you know. But it's, it's so dangerous that I just, you know, thought I would have to call it to your attention, you know, because it's, I think it's dangerous. You know, like everybody thinks it's dangerous who's ever given it any thought. So I want, it's not like, you know, it's not like I want to freak you out or anything. I just want you to give it some thought, you know. I just want you, to, you know, to think about this because it's, it's like there, there seems to be some, some really serious, like, um, like they, what happened was like uh, some of the manufacturers, you know, didn't, weren't, weren't, they knew that they were making a, a, a a product and making a profit, and their and and the waste of what they were, uh, the manufacturing process, you know, was a very not good for the environment, you know. And not only was it good, in, wasn't it good for the environment, wasn't good for humans, uh, you know. But what happened was they went out of business, or they, you know, something like that. And it's like, so what happened was the U.S. government at some point, you know, made a, a thing they called the super fund. The super fund was, you know, collected from. You know, they tried to find all the polluters who actually made that that stuff that was damaging people that was costing you know everybody money you know but some of them they couldn't be found or maybe they found a loophole you know they, they sort of squirmed their way out of it you know kept their money you know at other people's health at the health of the environment you know but you know um, so they decided to collect money to tax the petroleum and the chemical industries because they were the ones that were the major polluters and even if they weren't you know like some of the ones that were they could afford they were making really a lot of money and they were still polluting they could afford you know to pay for these cleanups and that was where the money was coming from the super fund well now I just heard that like you know that's been stopped you know like it's like but it didn't it happened like in 1995 you know just you know and it's like I I I can't remember who was the president then I don't I don't remember I know who it was you know it's really embarrassing you know but meanwhile the current guy that guy you know um um the guy the, the pretender in the White House that didn't win the election he 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 just he he just um. He it came up to his attention and he refused to renew it because like you know because you know I don't can't figure it out because like if it, if, if, it, if they don't clean up those oh yeah here's what they said is going to happen they're going to take it's going to be my taxes and your taxes you know the people that like are regular taxpayers they're the ones who they're they're going to take that money and they're and they're going to leave some of them because like they're not going to be able to afford to clean it up because it's too expensive to clean it up so that's it's like I just wanted to call your attention to it because like that's not that's not you know if you can do anything about it or talk to people about it I mean it's like it, it's it's almost like seeing a guy sitting on a tree sawing off the branch he's sitting on you know it's going to affect everybody and it's affecting everybody they've, they've got to clean these things up we're all getting sick from it you know you know even if you have the money to 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 to, to, to you know to get you know a surgery. That's it, you know, we got to do something, you know.